Mastering pronoun consistency. Avoiding shifts in number. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our English grammar series. Today, we're going to dive into an important aspect of pronoun usage, pronoun consistency. More specifically, we'll explore how to avoid shifts in number. So, are you ready to strengthen your English language skills? Let's jump right in. Pronoun consistency is about keeping the use of your pronouns steady and unchanging throughout your sentences, paragraphs, and essays. This means sticking to the same point of view and the same number, that is, not switching between singular and plural, or between first, second, and third person, unless necessary. For example, let's take a look at an inconsistent sentence. If one wants to succeed in their studies, you need to work hard. Here, we're switching from the singular, one, to the plural, there, and then to the singular, you. This is what we mean when we talk about inconsistency. Now, let's correct that. If one wants to succeed in one's studies, one needs to work hard. This sentence now maintains consistent pronoun usage. One common way writers become inconsistent is by shifting in number. This means that a writer might start with a singular noun or pronoun and then switch to a plural pronoun, or vice versa. Consider the following example. The student should always remember to bring their books. Here, the singular noun, student, is paired with the plural pronoun, there. This is a shift in number. The corrected version is, the student should always remember to bring his or her books. Or, if we want to make it plural for consistency, students should always remember to bring their books. In both corrected examples, the subject, a noun, and the pronoun are consistent in terms of number. Here are some tips to help you maintain pronoun consistency. 1. Identify your noun. Always know whether your noun is singular or plural. 2. Match your pronoun. Ensure that your pronoun matches your noun in number. 3. Check your work. Go through your sentences after writing to check for shifts in number. Using these tips can help you maintain pronoun consistency, thereby improving the clarity and effectiveness of your writing. And that's it for today's lesson. Remember, maintaining pronoun consistency, especially avoiding shifts in number, is essential for clear and effective communication. It might seem tricky at first, but with a little practice, it will become second nature. We hope you found this video useful. Stay tuned for more lessons to enhance your English language skills. Keep practicing, and you'll master these skills in no time. Happy learning!